so I would have a flying video today as well, but it's raining. up early to do a flying video a freestyle video but unfortunately it's raining so I'm turning to my workbench and I'm gonna give you guys some tips on some helpful tools and techniques that I use for when I build my drones all right so first these helping hands put some electrical tape on the ends just so I don't short circuit or scratch the pads on such as flight controllers or PDBs there's that I got this soldering mat, it's, it's uh, kind of helps not slide around a little bit, so um, kind of holds things in place. I can put the helping hands in this corner right here and have my drone, such as this one for example, right here and then work on that. I will also keep my workbench kind of clean. I am using a Xtronic soldering station. It heats up super super fast. For example, I set it on 400. And watch how fast this heats up. It heats up really fast. And just like that you're ready to go to solder. So, highly recommend that one. I'll put that in the link below. I am not sponsored or affiliated with them, so I'm just really good soldering station for the money. I think it's like 60 bucks. I use 6040 rosin, rosin core 6040, so you get really clean soldering joints with these, with this kind. I've had this probably for a year and a half now, and I've still got a lot of solder left. Like that, and then I also use Chemtronics flux pen which you can never have enough flux. The more flux, the better. Super easy, it's a pen, it's liquid. So you just simply put it right on the pads and then apply your solder and you get really, really nice, clean looking solder joints like that, nice and shiny. So, the more flux, the better. I did this just for an example. But, and it's already set, so if I'm ready to put that on another drone, it's ready to go. And with flux, you'll want isopropyl alcohol. This will clean up all the flux and make things really shiny. But be careful, because if you do this, if you do get this on your skin, it will irritate your skin. Right on the VTX, I applied some hot glue. It kind of holds it in place a little bit, but just a little tip, just so this doesn't pop off and you're flying and also you get a black screen. No one wants that. So that's my other tip. Get yourself one of these cubby bins. It's got a lot of drawers. I could fit extra frames in here. Um, I could fit wires, like literally anything. Um, it's got all of my motors and spare parts in here, such as uh, extra cameras. Just really helps keep things nice and neat. When you have a workstation, it's nice to have a neat bench, even though you'll see tons of videos and pictures and Facebook groups that it's just a mess and it's good to have somewhat of a clean bench just because if you're organized you're not going to lose something. Alright so the first thing you should do is grab a multimeter, it could be a cheap one, but the first thing before you plug a battery in is test continuity. This one is a UK-830LN multimeter, it's maybe a $12, $15 multimeter. Um, it works good. It's got a built in LED screen display. So if you're in a dark environment, it'll light up. Um, so I turn that to 
uh, continuity test. If there's any short or anything, it'll beep. And if it beeps, that means you have a short somewhere on your drone. For example, do you hear that? That's not good. So if, for example, just got done building a drone, plug a LiPo battery into your drone, and you didn't test with a multimeter, you most definitely would have magic smoke. So with a multimeter, that will test your continuity throughout the whole drone, and if you hear that, that's not good, but if you don't hear that, you will see like numbers display, continuity uh, numbers, and if it's silent and not making a buzzing noise, you're good to go. Another thing that I use on building drones is safety glasses. The fumes from the solder will irritate your eyes. So with that, I hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday. Happy flying.